Hello everyone, as promised, I am back with another review from the 895 candle sale a couple weeks back at Bath & Body Works White Barn Candle Company. And I did pick up the eggnog candle. I refuse to call it the, the Dear Santa, I believe the eggnog candle. I mean, I I won't go off onto a rant here because plenty of folks have already done rants on this and, and I completely agree with them that I just don't understand the aesthetic they're going for. Um, to me, like something like this here just makes not a lot of sense, but so much more sense. It's a kaleidoscope picture, and back in 2011, all of the fall and winter candles just were nice photos that I'm assuming were not just stock photos that they stole, that maybe they actually had an art department that took photos, or purchased photos at least, and then had a creative vision behind what they wanted it to look like, and kind of had this kaleidoscope look, and just gave, again, a visual cue, um, a decorative uh, look into you know what the candle could be, along with the actual name on there. and you know, through the years they've done things that are very specific, very um, obvious, and then other things that are a little bit more, um, you know, artistic or, or out there, but I don't, I don't know what the deal is with something that's so, I mean, it's Christmas and it is a black candle, first of all, because, you know, we all decorate black and white for Christmas. Um, and then you have the stupid, what is this, the Arial, I think, I think it's Arial font. Um, and it's Dear Santa, I blame the eggnog. It's like, is that, a, what? what's the point? I mean, it's not a sentence, it's not a letter or a note, there's not a period here. Like, if it's an eggnog scent, like, and what, why are you talking to Santa? Why is there a whole collection called Dear Santa? If there is, why is it literally black and white text? Like, are they trying to go for some sort of, like, modern, you know, uh, what's it, like minimalist look? Because it's Bath & Body Works, like, let's be real, there's nothing, modern or minimalist about it, um, especially when you throw in some gold foil <laughs> uh, text here. It's just, it is truly, it's just ridiculous. Um, and of course, you know, the, some people say, oh, well, you don't buy it for the, the, the look, you just buy it for the scent. Yeah, you buy it for the scent, but you'd like it to not be hideous, and this is just really stupid. Um, so is what it is. I would much rather it be like this, or even just clear, just give it to me in the white barn and just have, say, eggnog on it very small. The whole Dear Santa, I blame this, and the other ones that are out now, like the, you know, there's the girl gang, and the let's get baked, and nailing it, and gold digger. Like, it's just, 12 year olds are not gonna think it's cool, because 12 year olds are cooler than that. And, you know, 22 year olds are gonna also, like, there's no one that's gonna think, oh, that's so cute, that's so funny. Like, the most basic of basic people are gonna see through it and think it's stupid. So I, I really, I would love to understand their marketing behind it. I think it really must be that they said, you know, hey, like, marketing team, just throw something together, we don't really care, it's gonna sell, just get it out there, you know, look what's popular and do something similar, and you know, they, they're copying, they're pulling what they think will work, and maybe it is, but it's just, it's just, it's really, it's uh, very, very uninspired, is what it is, I mean, and when it is inspired, it's inspired and stolen by others, so it's, it's just really pathetic, so hate that I'm giving them money, but what are you going to do? Um, anyhow, this is Dear Santa, I'm the eggnog. Or butter rum eggnog is the candle. Uh, and they see here spiced eggnog, vanilla bourbon, rich buttercream, and shaved nutmeg. I appreciate that at least we're getting a little bit more of, you know, some kind of specifics. You know, nutmeg and vanilla bourbon and buttercream and eggnog. That's a little bit closer to back in the day when we used to get a, you know, a nice list of actual notes and not just what they thought we would like to hear or a story behind it. I don't need the story, just give me the specific notes. Um, of course, when everyone grabbed this, they're thinking, oh boy, could this be, is it vanilla pumpkin marshmallow? Is it one of the many, I, I don't go for the, all the caramel, the cinnamon caramel swirl, and the many different versions of bourbon butterscotch, and the pumpkin pecan waffle, anything that's like just cooked sugar and caramel like that, I don't like. It's usually far too cloying and kind of artificial smelling to me, and I just don't like it. Um, and I don't go super sweet usually, but I thought, hey, if it's if it's the old one from back in 2011, I would like it, and if it's authentic, I would like it. I fully believe that this would just be a repackage of their generic, again, creamy, caramely, 
supposedly a bit of boozy um, blends that they've had out in many different names and repackages over the years. Um, so I, I didn't expect much, but smelling it, I was like, okay, this is actually, it truly smells like, uh, like eggnog. Uh, you know, last year I made a um, uh, Mexican version of, of eggnog rompompe, called rompompe, uh, which again, it's essentially a custardy uh, egg and milk dairy based beverage with um, sugar and not really even caramelization so much, um, but you do add optional alcohol. Um, but certainly you've got some nutmeg in there, maybe a bit of cinnamon, but primarily nutmeg. Um, and you have this kind of, again, custardy, pudding-like, cold, but delicious holiday drink due to the, the nutmeg in it. Uh, and this is really close. It really, smelling it now, I feel like I'm getting more of the, I'd say really like a mix of the buttercream, which I really, I wish it was not so icing-y, because this does almost smell like a, an eggnog cupcake to me. But you do truly get a bit of a shaved nutmeg. I wish it was a little more authentic on the nutmeg because it's kind of a generic kitchen spice, but at the same time, I, I do like kitchen spice. It actually reminds me a bit of that. I, I should have gotten that out from the collection to compare, like nutmeg and spice as well as kitchen spice. Because you have that same kind of round, generic bakery spice to it, but generic in a good way, like just a good blend of, of spices. But you truly do get like that milky, dairy, rich, you know, whole fat <laughs> um, eggnog from that. So I wanted to compare it to, of course, you know, what everyone's wondering, is it truly a repackage of the test scent failed 2011, like here and gone in, in a month ca candle from 2011 called eggnog cheer. And I would say, I think mostly, um, I don't know that it's like literally went into the vault and got the same blend and, and, our, and, and you know brought it back. But I think that the way that they express eggnog between the two of them, very similar, but probably a little bit different. Um, this one, again, back in late 2011, uh, was a failed test scent, uh, I believe. So I don't think it really, there wasn't, you know, much out there. It's, it's funny, we talk about unicorn candles and how people, you know, bend over backwards to at least until recently, get things like lavender marshmallow and all of those, but I wanna be like, hey, how many times have you seen eggnog cheer? That's, <laughs> that, that's a unicorn, you don't see that very often. Um, it's listed here as rich cream and rum, as opposed to bourbon, uh, blended with nutmeg, vanilla bean, and cinnamon bark. So again, a little bit more going on here. This seems like a little bit more accurate to what eggnog should smell like or taste like. Now what's crazy about this one, I burned it a couple of times, it was pretty authentic, it smelled Again, like eggnog, um, but in the years since I burned it, which I probably haven't burned it in, you know, quite a few years. Probably I bet 2012 or was probably the last time, because um, I don't think it had much of a good burn to it. You can even see these. This is back when the wicks used to have that white, you know, a centimeter of like a white skeleton of a wick above the actual wick, and it re resulted in a poor burn. Um, but you can kind of see at the bottom here that a lot of the oils came out. And I think they might have even turned a bit, because um, at one point this was covered in oils, and you see all those brown specks. That's actually oil that is inside there, um, and it, it just like came out of the wax and then I think turned. So I don't know if there was something a little bit more volatile or natural in this one. Um, you know, they claim now to use essential oils. Mm, not really sure how much I buy that. Um, but I wonder if there's something in here that just, you know, not really shelf stable for a full seven years or whatever. And smelling it, again, it's been so long. It's almost like I'm going on scent memory to, to compare the two because even like rubbing this, I, I don't get a lot of scent out of this. It's just, yeah, it kind of, again, sometimes when candles are in storage, especially around other candles, it just either takes on their scent or it's just whatever oils are on the top of the wax have, have since, again, either turned and no longer have the a correct smell to them or maybe have evaporated a bit. I think this is the kind of thing where if I were to light this, the oils that are you know encapsulated in the existing wax would probably come out and, and may still smell good. Um, but yeah, even smelling the, the lid here, because oftentimes I feel like you get some fragrance trapped there. Not getting much, just kind of a blend of, you know, candles in general. So I actually can't say for certain if it's the same or not. Um, from what I remember, it seems pretty close. Although, 
I almost think that the the new version might be a little bit heavier on the like the vanilla bourbon buttercream side because I do feel like this one's a little bit more boozy than the, the old eggnog cheer. But again, something where I was impressed saying, man, that really is so authentic um, that, that it was worth buying. Um, not sure if and when I'll burn it. May not even burn it this year. Um, might save it for next year, but it does really seem like a true creamy eggnog blend, which is nice. And just for kind of, you know, S and Gs, I wanted to, to get out this other failed test scent from the fall 2011 collection, again, also known as the best year for Slatkin and Go Bath and Body Works candles. Um, because I thought, hey, there could be some similarities to this. Now, this one was called Spiced Biscotti. Again, this is one where I don't even know if I've heard folks talk about it in the past. This is like from the vaults of the collection. Um, and this was more so like around fall before winter uh, 2011. The notes on this one were uh, sugared walnuts, creamy caramel, rich maple butter with grated orange zest. Now this is where that actually sounds like how you would describe a biscotti, whereas now they could call something biscotti, but it's actually interchangeable with four other baked goods or four other whatevers, and it's really not specific. Um, this one is like, yeah, those would those would be the, the scent notes you would get from a piece of biscotti. Uh, this is one too where you can see the the oils really kind of came out and then dried up in the bottom of it. So not great, no, it had great burn, um, but not great on the maintaining the fragrance. With this one, oh man, it smells really nice though. Definitely not the eggnog. Again, I pulled it out because I thought, hey, if we're going old, could it be because, you know, there, there is the idea like the walnuts in this, the nuttiness could also be something that shows up in the eggnog, um, as well as the, the, the caramel side of it and if there's any sort of citrus, but this is just really, really nice. It's like, truly does smell like a baked biscotti. You've got a tiny hint of almond, but more so the walnut than almond, which when is the last time you saw walnut in a, a, a Bath & Body Works candle? Slightly creamy, um, almost like biscotti and milk or biscotti and tea. Again, more so brought that out because I've never talked about it in a video and I thought it was kind of interesting because um, it's so old and from the same uh, era as the eggnog cheer there. So just wanted to sniff it and, and share it because I thought some folks might find it, it interesting, those who enjoy kind of, again, going through the, the vaults of the heyday of Slatkin candles. Um, so again, kind of the, the overall on the butter, what is the name? Because I refuse to call it the, the, the thing there, butter rum eggnog. Um, What's, well, it's funny too, they say butter rum, and I definitely can get that because it's that buttery, kind of almost butterscotch scent. Um, but they don't, when they say spice eggnog, they, they say vanilla bourbon. So is that like bourbon with vanilla in it, or is that just the type of vanilla they sometimes call bourbon vanilla without, that doesn't actually have booze in it? Um, because they say butter rum. I don't know, six to one, half a dozen the other, but it's really nice. It's got a, a good hit of spice to it and, and very creamy. So if you can still get it, if you're interested, go for it. It's probably sold out at this point, but you never know what will show up from the back room uh, at the semi-annual sale. So stay tuned, have two or three more videos coming up. And until next time, take care.